Hey Rob, how are you doing this week? Not bad, I guess. Well, actually, last Friday something really weird happened. I was leaving school quite late. It was about 9 o'clock. And I was down in the parking garage getting into my car, and I heard this woman scream. I wanted him to get caught so badly, but there was nothing I could do about it. And I mean, so I was leaving the parking lot, and as I was on my way out, I noticed that there was an off-duty cop down there, and they had caught them and arrested them. Hmm. Well, that's good, isn't it? Well, yeah. Then what's the problem, Rob? Well, for instance, last Monday, I was at school, and this idiot tripped me. I was so mad. I just wanted him to trip or fall or something. And then when I looked back, he'd fallen down the stairs and he'd broken his arm. I mean, it seems if I want something to happen badly enough, it manifests itself. That's odd, no? Yeah, that is interesting. You didn't happen to go to the uh, lecture I told you about last week with Dr. Watson, did you? Well, actually, yes, I did. Well, it seems that people that have gone to that, including my clients, uh, have been given powers by Dr. Watson. Some of those are like going into the future. Uh, some person, people can uh, change the things they most regret. I, for instance, can step into other people's shoes, and you seem like some kind of karma cop. So you're saying I have some kind of superpowers or something? Yeah. That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Honestly, Ryan, I'm supposed to be the one with the mental problems. Well, that's what's happening, Rob. I mean, Dr. Watson believes in the good of people, and these powers can help people do good if, if they're ready for it. If you're not ready for it, then I can give you Dr. Watson's card, and he can take away the power for you. Thank you. Unfortunately, we're out of time today, but uh, come back next week, and we'll see how that went for you. Hey. Hey, um... So, do you know where Dr. Hayes' office is? I'm lost. Yeah. It's right there. Okay. No problem. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist.